like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, check out my Spanish lessons and vlog. Let's get right into it and learn how to use SpeakPipe to record our voice. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to speakpipe.com slash voice dash recorder and then the pound sign. Do not panic about figuring out that website. I will have it in the description. Once you get to this page, you will see this green button. My recommendation is that you already know what to say before you hit the start recording, as it's going to start recording immediately. So get your thoughts ready, your notes prepared, and make sure that you are ready to start speaking. Once you are prepared and you know what you're going to say, click the start recording button and begin speaking. It may ask you to allow the computer to access your microphone and make sure that you do allow that. So let's click start recording. And I'm ready to speak. So my example would be, Hola, yo soy Catalina y soy de Colombia. Then click stop. Now you want to click play to listen to your recording. Let's do it together. And I'm ready to speak. So my example would be, Hola, yo soy Catalina y soy de Colombia. Once you are comfortable with the content and the quality, you can either reset to start over or save on server. In this case, I'm going to click on save on server because I'm happy with my recording. Now, it's very important that we name our recording. So we're going to put our name and then the assignment number. In this case, I'm going to do introduction, but you could put the name of your assignment or your assignment number. And once you're ready, click on save, let it update and process. Do not close the page until it's done. Now that your recording has been saved, you can click on the play button to listen to it one more time. And you have two different ways of submitting your work. You can either copy this link that you have right here and submit it on your assignment. You can either paste it into a Word document and upload it, or you can paste this link directly onto your assignment or your Facebook or your website. However, if you want to actually embed this player, you can go to the embed on website button. If you're choosing to embed the player, click on embed on website, and now you have your embed code. So make sure you copy that code and paste it directly onto your assignment or your social media or web page. And that's it, you guys. Once you've submitted your assignment or uploaded your recording to wherever you wanted to record it, you can click return to record another one or simply exit the website and you're good to go.